Welcome back to another Stunt Culture Fast Track Guide. Today we're going to do the Loader High. <laughs> so, if you guys have not watched any of our videos before, I am Cody. I'm Christine. And behind the camera is Jackson. Corbett. What's up, guys? What we're going to do today is we're going to go over that low to high, maybe a few variations of the low to high. We'll probably start with like platform at the top, come down to a low left, and then back up to a high right. Then we might even go straight from the left, same thing. Maybe we can even do like a low left pull up or something like that. We'll try a few different variations. We're going to go over the grip that um, I use as a base. And then Christine's gonna go over what the flyer should be thinking about for that skill. So maybe Christine will start. So, oh, I can't do this. Yeah, you can, I girl. I can't pull this foot and just. Go from so. 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 So, flyers. All right, so what Christine's gonna do for us is she's going to teach Cody what to do with his legs. So you guys can see the flyer actually doing it as she's explaining it. Sound All good? Right, that sounds good. <laughs> Hold right. a live. Left live, Cody. <laughs> Sorry. Is that good? <laughs> Cody knee. Oh. Yep. Pull that knee up. Nice and tight. Oh, grabbing. Roll that time. There you go. Keep rolling out. Roll what time? Right. What toe does he have to roll in? This foot. It started to roll out. My big toe. We want I kept to have this. big toe to the ground. Keep it nice and flat. Flat, straight, pull up high. Good. Hey, you're actually really good at that. I practice. I'm sure you do. <laughs> so a lot of people, when they pull their libs, they tend to do this with their hips. So that was really good, Cody, to keep your hips nice and flat. All right. Now, second step is actually let's go into a line. Now, all I want you to think about is switching, bring this leg all the way down. Yep. As it gets here, you need to replace Bring yep. this one up just as fast as this leg comes down. Okay. Okay? Good, pull it up. Very good. All right, so get comfortable with just switching and replacing and pulling that leg up just as fast as the leg comes down on the same spot. Please make sure that you pull up when you land because if you stomp down, this will hurt the base's fingers. Show, um, show us, show us what. So. So as soon as this one passes, this leg is actually coming straight up into that lift position. And she's lifting up through her hips her whole body, and her shoulder. body. Now, Cody, show, show, oh. show, show what happens I when... Spat everywhere. <laughs> show, show the audience what happens when a fly doesn't pull up. And now, are you ready? Fingers are snapped. These are our fingers. Do it again. Ow. That made a lot of noise. And then snap. <laughs> right, as we, not that we should be catching the fly like this, but still, it's coming down that fast does not feel good on the fingers. So just make sure that as you switch up, everything right up, lifting. You wanna be as light as you can. Yeah, perfect. Now, uh, once we get used to just switching on the spot without moving too much, we wanna put the switch to counts. So base and your flyer can be doing it together. And because we will have that pressing down motion, so you have to wait a lot. So with the counts, it sort of helps to know when to actually switch. Cool. So, so just before we go over those counts, I will let you guys know now what, the ba what I think about as the base. So from the top, you're holding, depending which grip you go for, I'm gonna assume that you go for this grip here or close to that grip. So from here, give a, I tend to shrug a little bit before I come down for the press. So you're gonna shrug up. Then when you come down, keep it nice and controlled, the same pace the whole way down. As you come down, Try to turn, get those elbows in nice and close together, still by covering as much of her foot as possible. You don't want to come down to here because you're going to lose a lot of strength in that position. It is really awkward to get your elbows in when you first do this, so it will take a little bit of practice to get to that point where it feels comfortable. But basically, think about the same pace the whole way down, get those elbows in nice and close, dip through your legs, and then drive back up to that same grip. You're going to keep that same grip the whole way down, the whole way up without changing grip. You can slide your head, well I tend to slide my hands around the outside a little bit more so that I can get my hands, to, my elbows together easier because if I hold that same grip the whole way down it's very difficult to get my elbows together. So what I do is I slide around a little bit to get the elbows in, 
through the leg, and then when I drive back through, it's that same spot. Now don't think about like throwing and then like re-catching, you're just pushing all the way through. So from here, you come down and then push. She's going to switch into your hands. You'll open your fingers so that she can actually like switch without you like squeezing your foot. Um, but don't think about like throwing and then re-catching. You're just pushing through and she's switching. Just going back to that grip, um, personally as a flyer, I like it when he can bring the hands around the side instead of staying at the back because it tends to push us forward as we come down and then we always fall off the front. So kind of like the C grip. Yeah, exactly. So it's nice and flat. If you guys have hands. seen uh, the hands full up, hands full around video with Dan and Kat. Go check it out if you haven't. I'm not putting it there, but yeah. Put it here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so just going over those counts, um, Cody's going to do that dip through and shrug through the shoulders on one, two, he's going to bring it down nice and slow on three, four, and then pushing through on five. So as a flyer, you have to be holding that first lib, the left lib, whatever you start on, um, until that five. Okay, so holding it, he's shrugging one, two, down three, four, start to bring it down, and then landing on five. Ah, let's do that. Are we doing toss platform? Sure. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. Pop. All right, so what we'll do now is we're going to, instead of going up to platform and then bumping to dip down and pull the lib and go, we're gonna to toss to immediate left lip and then press and push through to right. So with this one, because you don't have those counts to start you off, really just focus on holding it for two on the way down and then switching on that last one. As you do this more, you'll get the, you'll start to understand the feeling of when the base hits the bottom and starts to push through. Yeah. And that's when, when you feel it hit the bottom, we start to push through, that's when you'll think about sliding, replacing and lifting at the same time. Yeah, do it. So that first one that we did wasn't very good. I had a really bad grip. So we're gonna do that again. Just make sure as the base, like what you're gonna to tend to do when you first do this is you're not gonna finish your toss. You're gonna like release really quick and just try and snatch her foot. But you don't wanna be catching here. You do wanna actually go up, catch high, and then bring your fly down because you're gonna be able to get a better grip. You're gonna be able to control it more, which will feel better for the flyer. And it's gonna be easier for them to switch at the right time as well. So we'll do that again. I'll try and get a better grip so that I can get my elbows together. It's still something that I struggle with as well. I should bring them in more, um, so don't judge me too much. But if you can focus on that, it's gonna make a big difference for this skill and even a bunch of other low to high skills as well, like if you wanna start spinning. So let's do it. Let's do it. So just kind of to recap that, make sure, as the base. Over here. From the top. Oh, sorry, you want me over here? When you come down, slide your hands around a little bit, a little bit, make sure that you're covering the flyer's foot as you come down and you're focusing on getting those elbows together. As you get them together, you're still going to dip down nice and low, try and do like a two count on the way down. And then when you push through, think about pushing straight back through, not throwing and then re-grabbing. You want it to be smooth the whole way through for the flyer and also for yourself, because it's easier. Um, so that's the main thing. Slow control dip, turn that hand and then push back through to catch at the top, keeping the same grip. Um, Some chins there, Cody. <laughs> so for the flyers, Making sure you're holding that lib all the way down uh, throughout the dip, um, the shrug and the dip, sorry. Um, and then making sure that leg is sliding down. And then once it gets to that five, pulling the leg up, hips staying nice and square, and then pulling up through your shoulders and your arms. So you're really good at this, Christine. Thanks. Can I try? So we'll try a couple of variations now. We're still, the start of it will still be the same. The end might be different because we're doing a couple of different variations, but really what you're going to focus on is just that slow, controlled, dip, push through. And Christine.
So if you guys have any questions about that low to high, add them to the comments below. Also hit us up on Instagram. If you guys want to send us a video and want us to critique something that you're doing. Also, if you just want to send us a video of something that you've hit recently, we'd love to see it as well. Um, and let us know what other skills you want us to cover because we're keen to keep doing these videos every week. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video. Bye. Peace.